the Woo Gang TV, man. We back with another video. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to God for this awesome opportunity, man, for allowing me to get back on my journey of getting a lot of content, staying consistent, and just um, following my purpose. And thank all y'all for this um, journey for, since last year. Uh, I will be attending the Theodore versus Ber Baker game. Uh, the reason why is because these was the first two programs that allowed me to come and put them on my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be extremely exciting. Uh, if y'all don't know, I do have a media team now. Uh, we haven't came up with a name yet, but it's me, Deshaun Allen, JC, and Tamarcus Lane. Tamarcus Lane is a local sports analyst, so he's very like updated with all sports and everything like that. We have JC and Deshaun, who's our photographers. Man, y'all need any work, make sure y'all get with them. The information will be down below. Uh, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get to 3K. Uh, we, um, I'm gonna say we're probably like eight, 900 subscribers away from that, but we can get there. Um, but thank y'all so much for the love and support. Y'all stay blessed, y'all stay tuned. Another season is upon us. High school football is back. Today, we got the Baker Hornets visiting the Theodore Bobcats. Baker is looking to advance their last season heartbreaking loss to Theodore 35-31. Today should be a good one. Let's rock out.
man. We back with another video. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to God for allowing us to see another uh, day, allowing these young men to come out here and so, uh, compete and have fun today. And right here is my buddy right here, Cameron. Man, this young man had a great game. If y'all don't know, I've been watching him since last year. I knew he had a lot of potential. He showed his true leadership, his sportsmanship throughout the whole game. But tell me about your performance. How you feel about you? You know, you being a starter and everything. How does that make you feel? Well, I think my my performance is a whole lot. It looks a whole lot better because I have a lot of talent out on the perimeter and in the backfield and great old line up front. And so I look good, but it's really my guys all around are helping me. Okay, then. And what, what advice would you, um, you know, what key words you would like to say about your scout team? Because, you know, a lot of people tend to forget about the scout players and stuff like that. Like, what performance throughout the week did they show you? So yeah. our scout team is good enough to be varsity starters. And they, the way they help us or they form during the week, it helps us improve. Yeah, and it just brings us a better look and it gets us better at it. Okay, then. And what advice or encouragement you would like to give to anyone out there that might, you know, be starting in their first game or just, you know, just have the little jitters or anything? So, today I came out and I was confident, but I was so worried about making a big play that I was trying to make big plays and it was just, it brought my confidence a little down and I was very jittery. So just stay level-headed and just play the next play. Don't try to do everything. Just play that play. Oh yeah, man. And I'm so proud of this humble young man. You can tell he's extremely humble. And I wish number the best uh, as he leads his team, Theodore, for more victories and everything like that. But thank y'all, Wu Gang, and this is our player of the game. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm here with Braden, my cousin, man. He came out and had a good game. How was you feeling looking forward to the first game of the season? Uh, I already, man. I ain't had no butterfly. I already. They did all that work. How, how do you feel like your team did as a, as a whole? The boy came out of play. They both did. We stayed home and came out. We had a great game today, man. Congrats. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with Travis Bendoff, man. He had an amazing game. He had about five, six sacks, four, five tackles for losses. His kid got a phenomenal ceiling. How you feel coming in this week? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I was real hungry. I ain't played since, since uh, what that was, 2019 to 2020. So like me not playing that last year, it made me hungry and coming out of every game, seeing that all my balls I was playing, I couldn't play. And when we came in this first game right here, we had everybody whooping saying, who is Thito? We're gonna beat Thito and all this. And I had, I had the mindset to lock in. And when I had that mindset to lock in, I told my coat in the locker room, I said, coat, this shit right here, I'm gonna come out and let it all loose. They got a demon. I let out a demon today. That, was, that, been, that been ready to be released. And he just got released tonight. Well, it was good talking to you, bro. Yes, sir. Great game. Proud of you. All right, for sure. Go.